Storm Tracker 7 weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Well, hey, how's it going, Ohio Valley meteorologist Tyler Vanji here. Let's break down this weather and find out why it's so nice across the Ohio Valley. We're actually stealing our weather from New Jersey, uh, Virginia Beach, so we're getting some of that cooler air and a lot fresher. If you take a deep breath in, you might notice how cool it is and how actually nice it is outside. We're lacking that humidity. That's all thanks to my good friend high pressure sliding across Illinois, Iowa, making its journey into Ohio but it's likely to stay here for the short term, possibly even the long term as it begins to shift slightly to the east. But here's all the answers to it. Your upper air pattern holds at all. High pressure associated with that clockwise rotation. As we head through this work week, we do see a little bit of a trough here towards the north, and that's all associated with our polar front jet. Well, what is that? Well, that's what brings us our cold fronts through the winter, but check out where it's not where it is now. It's actually parked well up towards the north, so barely dipping down. We'll see light rain as we get closer to your Wednesday, but overall I'm not talking a whole lot of rainfall, so we're going to keep those good vibes, sunshine and blue skies continuing through the rest of this work week. Here's like your wind speeds right now, rather variable, but they're still from the east, so that's keeping things nice here across the valley, and we'll continue to enjoy those light and variable winds. So maybe head over to the park and set out a nice picnic, and uh, not likely to see your blanket getting blown away. Temperatures right now, 74 degrees here in Wheeling Moundsville, 74 down into New Martinsville. The warmer you get and the further west you go, all thanks to that high pressure and that clockwise rotation. Today, maxed out right around 75 degrees in the mid to upper 70s, and we continue to heat up just a bit. So we'll have to see if we squeeze in that 76. We break our average, but not by a whole lot, and that's thanks to those northerly component in our winds. 91 degrees, definitely not hitting it. 30, we're staying far away from that. 58 degrees is where we'll wake up tomorrow morning, though, so a nice morning to get out there and have some coffee or just go for a walk, maybe take Norman for a walk there, Steve. Future conditions over the next 24 hours, temperature, dew point, a little bit of a spread there, about 10 to 15 degrees. That's going to keep things seasonable and lacking humidity, and those winds not going anywhere anytime soon, staying variable. Here's a look at predictor, cloud coverage across the board, but it continues to push out thanks to high pressure as we head through Tuesday. That's just due to the moisture evaporating through our day. That sun getting rid of some of that water off the Earth's surface, putting it up in the atmosphere. Heading closer to your Tuesday and Wednesday, notice this band of rain showers. That's associated with that polar front jet that we talked about that pushes our cold fronts through the winter. It's going to dip down a little bit as this low pressure comes through, but check out how dry it is as, by the time it gets to the Ohio Valley, not really noticing a whole lot. Uh, we'll have to check our temperature as we head through the day to see if we actually get some of that cloud buildup. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. A little spotty rain on Wednesday, not really concerned about it. Heading through your Thursday and Friday, those temperatures, I cannot complain. Lower 70s, let's keep that like that all spring and summer. I will not complain at all. Saturday into Sunday, a good chance to have a soccer or baseball game. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s.